Hello everyone, I'm Mackenzie. I'm Cole. And I'm Haley. And welcome to the, the Couch, Couch Potato, Potato Lab. Lab. The show where we bring the science to you in your own homes. Now we're really, really excited for today. We have a fantastic episode, or should I say, math-tastic episode coming at you here. We're very excited. Now to get ready, you can download that lab manual at bit.ly slash Couch Potato Lab. And throughout the episode, you can also ask us all of your questions, and you can reach us on social media at iZoo, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that great stuff. If you're using Twitter, you can use that hashtag Couch Potato Lab, and we'll get back to you there. And of course, as always, you can text us your questions as well at 306-570-1013. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm the host for today, but I'm not wearing a lab coat, but that's because... <laughs> It's very strategic. Is right? it? Okay, yes. interesting. Very strategic because I am a math student and I am so excited because we're doing some math today and I figured I'm going to blend right in here with the scientists because oh. I think that I have a few things that I can teach our scientists today as well. So um, let's start off by introducing the scientists to my left. Yes, thank you, Mackenzie. Hello, everybody. My name is Cole. My pronouns are he and him. And a fun fact about me is um, I live in a pineapple under the sea. Wow, cool. That's I everything. Thanks. Did you just move there, Cole? Um, I've been living there for a while. Um, I live next to uh, um, an, an angry squid and a lovable starfish. Wow, cool. How long is your commute to the studio? Uh, oh, it is long. Uh, as it has been established, I do kayak <laughs> to the studio. We have brought that up, I think, five right, or six right. times now. Um, and uh, kayaking underwater is harder than you think it is. Yes. Mm, interesting. Very hard. I might, might try that one day. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying before, my name is Mackenzie. My pronouns are she, her. And a fun fact about me is that in my lifetime, I have done a total of one. Yes, that's right. One escape room. And in my lifetime, I have escaped a total of one escape room. So if anything like that comes up in today's episode, I really hope that I can increase those totals. And you I got some math for you, Mackenzie. Oh, that okay. means you have a 100% success rate at escape rooms. Uh, that is right, Cole. Mm -hmm. And I really, really hope that if anything funky like that comes up today, I hope that I can keep that success rate because mm -hmm. I'm very, very proud of that. All right. Who is on my right? Well, my name is Haley. My pronouns are she and her. And my fun fact for the day is I was actually on a run yesterday and the most surprising thing happened. I got stung by a bee and it hurt a lot and I screamed and it was not the funnest time for me. Oh goodness. I'm so sorry that that happened to you, Haley. I know. Very, very painful. But something that isn't painful is that we live on Treaty 4 territory. <laughs> we live on the territory of the Nehewak, Nakawe, Nakoda, Lakota, and the Dakota peoples, as well as the traditional homeland of the Métis Michif Nation. Yes, that's right. Eyes and CPL is coming to you from Treaty 4 territory. But where are you from today? Text us and let us know. All right. Thank you so much, Haley. Now, I was just looking around and... I noticed that I have these boxes here, and I really, really want to find out what's in it, but uh, on the back side here, there's a lock, and there's like a number combination it looks like I need to get in here. Where, where did you find those boxes, Mackenzie? Were they just sitting there, or how did... What, yeah, how? someone must have left them here. I don't oh, know. Interesting. But I don't know. We can't open them yet, but it looks like there's something on them, like an equation or uh, some type of math. That's some math stuff, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, before before we take that, because I don't know how many chances we get mm. to open that, I would hate to get it wrong if we only have one chance. So what do you say that before we get into that, we kind of warm up our math brains and do some little riddles to make yes. sure we're thinking logically here. Yes, I like that. I like that. Because mm -hmm. I think if I were to just jump in, I would get an answer wrong, and then maybe we get locked out, and we'll never know what's in those boxes. Exactly. And that would be literally the worst case literally. scenario. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And Cole, as the captain of the Mathletes team here mm -hmm. at Eyes, mm -hmm. it, I'm sure that you understand the importance of warming up. I do. I We, we do um, calisthenics and cardio before we go to our Mathletes uh, competi co competitions, uh, but it's purely brain cardio. Right. So you kind of just do this. You work out your brain. Your heart is racing, Cole, I can tell. My brain is doing squats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can see it. We, we can all see this. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. I'm back. I'm okay. Back. 
Are you ready? Yes. Haley, are you ready? I am. Okay. Riddle number one. Mm. Okay. It says 230 subtract 220 divided by 2. Okay. Is it A, 5, B, 120, or C, all wrong? I'm going to go. I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. I've got this. Uh, again, head of the Mathletes uh, co team, I know that the answer is A, 5. A I'm going with five. A, number five. Mm. five. Okay, uh, Haley, what's your answer here? Well, Cole, I'm not really sure about that answer, so I think I'll have to go with B. Wow, you guys are locking in. You're really trusting hmm. that one of these answers is correct. Interesting. All right, Cole, I would, I'm very curious to know, before mm -hmm. I unlock the right answer here, I'm curious, how did you get to five? Oh. Please tell me what you did in your head, because I know all of those things are <coughs> flying around in there. Yes. Tell me what's flying around in your head right now. Well. This is how uh, I like to see it when I see this riddle. I see t 230 <laughs> minus 220, which gives me 10. Okay. And I divide that by 2, and I get 5. Interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm, I'm not giving you that one yet. Haley, oh. tell, me what, tell me what you did to get 120. Well, my thought process is a little bit different. So I did the division first because I know that division always has to be done before the adding or subtracting. So that is how I got to 120. Ah, so you did 220 divided by 2 to get 110, and then you did 230 subtract 110 to get 120. Exactly. And, you know, although this isn't really our science showdown yet, that might be coming up, I'm still going to reward the winner here because Cole... You're wrong. Oh, no. Haley, you're so <gasps> right. Yay! So Haley is right. There is a different order, and we're going to get a little bit into that later on in the show. So that was a bit more of a warm-up, but mm -hmm. Cole, he's not, he's not ready yet as the, the captain of this I have been told that, I have, I, that he's just not ready my entire life, and I'm ready to prove people wrong. All right, so Cole, you know, this one's for you then. We're going you, to get you ready here with riddle mm -hmm. number two. So this riddle here, it has some symbols and some, some numbers, and we need to figure out what these symbols mean, like what number they represent, so we can figure out what this oh question mark stands for. This is, uh, there's a lot going on here. So we've got to figure yes. out what the happy face number is and the frown face number is. You got it. So in this first one here, this is our first clue, we have smile face times smile face equals 16. Mm. So the same number. So what number times itself gives us 16? So what times what equals 16? I'm thinking, and I'm thinking that the answer is 4. 4 right. times 4 equals 16. 4 times 4 equals 16. That is absolutely right. Yes. Yes. Okay, Haley. Okay. Line number 2. We have happy face. And cool. what was the happy face again? The happy face represents 4. Okay, we know so that. 4. Subtract sad face, we're trying to figure out what this is, equals 2. So 4 subtract what equals 2? Hmm. Well, I'm thinking <laughs> that the answer might be 2. <gasps> 4 subtract 2 equals 2. That's right. Okay. okay, so we know that our smile face is 4, and we know our, hap or our sad face is 2. So to make things easier, do you think I should uh, try to... Yeah, maybe fill it in. Fill it in yeah, our notes? Sure, okay. Sure. So we know that sad face is 2, happy face is 4, sad face is 2, oops, okay, so we know this now, so we have okay. 2 plus 4 times 2 plus oh. bracket, it 2 I've times 2. Uh, th so these brackets must mean something. I you were talking about that we have to do this in a specific order, right, Mackenzie? Yes, I was. Okay, well, how about if we started... I'm just going to take a pure guess here. Okay. What if we started with those 2 times 2 in the brackets? Okay, so we have 4 there. Yeah. Okay. Then what? Okay. Haley, do you have any, any guesses of what we do, would do next? Hmm. Well, before I'd said that you need to do your multiplication and division before you do your adding and subtr subtracting. So I suppose we would do our 4 times 2 next. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's going to be 8. Okay, then, because I'm not wearing my lab coat, I think I'm going to do this next step. Yeah, sure, okay. finish it off. So we have 2 plus 8, so 10, plus 4 equals 14. Oh. 14. 
Okay, wow. That sounds right. I think like, that I think we did it. I'm gonna see. The the answer is right up here in the corner. Uh, oh, it's very small. Really Fine small. print. Fourteen, that's right. We did yes. it. We did it. Okay, are we all warmed up? I feel great. I feel like I feel like math is just starting to flow and I feel I feel real smart. That's that's mm -hmm. great, cool. Mm -hmm. Now, you could tell in that last equation that we didn't get to 14 just, you know, by reading a book from left to right or doing the equation from left to right. There was a very specific order. And we're going to talk a bit more about that order later. But, Cole, why is order so important, not only in, like, math equations, but also in life? That's right, Mackenzie. Order is so important. And I'm starting to understand why we need to do these math equations and these operations in a specific order because sometimes if we don't do things in the right order, we're not going to get the result that we want at the end. So order is really, really important in a lot of the different things that we do. And a lot of um, the routines that we uh, end up doing in our day-to-day -day life or other things that we do in our daily life, they are all based on some sort of order. We do this and then this and then this. And if we didn't do that, mm, we're going to mess up the, the whole uh, ending of that routine. So for instance, uh, every morning um, I have a morning routine, okay? I take three hours in the bathroom doing skincare, okay, to keep everything fresh. And not that's just that's just that, that I wake up at four in the morning to do that. And there's so much more t that goes on. And if I did my order in a different in a different order, for instance, uh, I wouldn't wake up um, and then immediately get into my car and start driving to work and then pour a water bottle over my head as a shower and then maybe um, uh, brush my teeth with a, a, a stick of celery at the studio when I come here. Uh, everything's out of order. I would be all a mess and I would look even worse than I normally do when I'm on the couch potato lab. So, so. Order is important. When I wake up, I need to make sure that I maybe have a shower before I get in my car and then eat breakfast and or brush my teeth and then get in my car and, or my kayak, I should say, and then come to the studio. So order is really, really important. If we do our routines out of order, well, we're not going to get the right result. And Haley, I think you know another way that, um, another analogy of why order is so important. Yes, I do. So I'm the master baker here. We cleared this up the other day on the show that Cole just likes to take credit for my work and my baking. So I am the master baker. So I know that things need to be done in a specific order. We need to put the flour in before we put in any liquids. If we don't, our cake might be too dense. It might not taste as good. It just won't have that same flavor that we're all used to and that we are all expecting. So just like morning routines, baking has a routine as well. All right, yes, that is so true. There is so much order in our life, and we don't even realize that sometimes we're doing things in a specific order, but we're just so used to it that it just seems like natural. It's just the exact same thing. And you know what? By the end of this episode, I hope that it's that easy to do these equations in the mm. right order as it is for Cole to have his shower yes. and do that and how um, Haley knows that she needs to put the uh, cake in the oven last, not first. Right. Yes. Right. All right. So um, before we get move on a little bit more, I just want to remind you that over the next little bit in this episode, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us on social media at Eyes Youth. That's on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, TikTok, all that great stuff. You can use that hashtag Couch Potato Lab to reach us. And of course, as always, you can text us at 306 1013. That is a seven digit phone number, not just <laughs> a four digit phone number. Seven digit phone numbers, yes. yes. So many numbers on today's episode. So many numbers. Jeez. They're just, they're, they're spinning through my mm -hmm, head. It's mm -hmm. absolutely insane. They're constantly <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> I think only Haley and I know that trick, actually. Sorry, Mackenzie. Uh, I should have <laughs> worn my lab coat. <laughs> All right, so we've talked so much about order. And, you know, this thing in, in math that we keep talking about in these equations, it's called the order of operations. Now, operations are anything in math that we're doing, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents. All of those things, those are called the operations. So that's what we're doing to like combine the numbers or what we're doing in the equation. But there is a very, very specific order for these operations. And we have something here that's going to make it a little bit easier to remember. And we call that bed mass. So I'm going to head over to my bed black mass. board here. That's right, not a white board, but bed a black mass. board. That's a funny looking word, Mackenzie. I have to say bed mass. I've never, that's not a word I never heard. Well, cool. The thing is with this bed mass is it's not actually a word. It's an acronym. 
Whoa. So by acronym, I mean that it each letter stands for a big word. And this acronym kind of reminds us it's a good way for us to know exactly what order we need to do these operations in. So we're going to go through these kind of one at a time so we know exactly what each letter stands for. So let's start with bed mass. The B stands for brackets. Now, when you look at brackets, I, I'm sure you're like, what? Brackets? That's not an operation. And that's right. Brackets are at the very beginning. They're kind of like a cheat. They allow us to put these brackets around um, some numbers so that we know to do it first. So it's kind of like a little cheat that we can in input into equations so that we can know to do that very first. All right, so the E, that stands for exponents. Now we use exponents a lot in a little bit higher level maths, but exponents basically are just telling us that we need to multiply, how many times we need to multiply a number by itself. So if we have 2 to the power of 2, like we do right here, that would mean that we times 2 by, itsel by itself 2 times. So 2 times 2. All right, so that's exponents. Now we have a D, and this D stands for division. All right, so then we'll do our division. Next we have the M, and this M is multiplication. I c I, I'm starting to understand why we need an acronym here, because this is a lot of big words to remember. So As this helps a lot. That's right. This is a big word, too. I accidentally yeah. didn't have enough room. Asian. <laughs> Multiplication. Yeah, you got it. All right, the A. The A is for addition. And Cole, can you guess what that S stands for? OK. Um, uh, OK, we've got all those other operations. Right after addition, I'm going to go with subtraction. That is very right, Cole. Yes. It is subtraction. All right, so I'm sure some of you have heard of bed mass before, but some of you might be like, um, Mackenzie, bed mass, that's not right, it's PEMDAS, and you know what, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, because you're not, it's actually the exact same thing, it's just a little bit different, the different words, but it's doing the exact same thing, it's following the exact same order of operations. So we have a P instead of a B. So this B stands for brackets. This P stands for parentheses. So it's really the same thing. Sometimes we have multiple sets of parentheses and brackets with one in one equation. So it just kind of depends what you're going to be using in your equation. So these are actually the exact same thing. Now the E is the same. They're both standing for exponents. Now here is when you might start questioning me, telling you they're the same thing. Because we have the M and the D, and here we have D and M. Now we're describing an order, so how can they be in a different order if they're the same thing? Are you wondering that? Col this Col is Haley? extremely confusing to me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. The thing about the M and the D, and the D and the M, is that they can be switched around. So if there's division and multiplication in one equation, you just do them from left to right, just like you would read a book. So these two are kind of linked together. So you just do them in left to right. So that is why in PEMDAS, these two are just flipped, because you can flip them. You just do them the order <coughs> that th they appear in that equation. And although in PEMDAS, the addition and subtraction are in the same order, the addition and subtraction, the addition and subtraction follow the same rules as um, the multiplication and division, and that's also because um, they're, they're linked operations. Um, I'm sure you've talked about it before, but addition and subtraction are linked together, just like multiplication are as well. You can always reverse them by doing the opposite operation. So for these two, again, you go left to right in the order they appear. Now, Mackenzie, I think you have so many numbers flying around your brain that you forgot how to spell. <laughs> One of our viewers at home pointed out that subtraction needs a t another T in it. <laughs> that is right. Just I telling it like it is over there, Haley. <laughs> I missed Stone cold. <laughs> I missed the T in subtraction. Uh, I'm focused on numbers right now instead yeah. of letters. But thank you to that viewer for <laughs> pointing that out to me. I would have co completely breezed past that. And you are completely right. Subtraction has a T in it. All right. So <laughs> what do you say together we try to use this order of operations and solve this 
crazy long equation. Oh boy. Should yeah. we do it? Okay, let's do it. That looks okay. pretty long. I, I hope we can do it. I think we can. I think, I we, think can. we can. Okay, so let's start with the B. In this equation, is there any brackets? Cool. Um, yes, I see brackets right at the beginning, the three times four. All right, so according to our acronym, we must start with that. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get that out of the way right away. So three times four, what's the answer? Um, I believe that is 12. You got it. All right, so we got our 12, and then I'm just going to bring the rest of the equation down so we don't forget any steps at all. All right, now we have E, exponents. Do we have any exponents in this equation, Haley? Yes, we do. It's actually the next thing in line. So that's 2 to the power of 2. That is right. So we have 2 to the power of 2, and that is, shout it out, 4. 4, you got it. All right, so I'm going to continue to bring down. Mackenzie, I remember hearing that sometimes you can say, instead of saying 2 to the power of 2, you could also say 2 squared. Is that true? That is right. Cool. You sure can say 2 squared yes. in that case. So now we have this division multiplication thing, and they are supposed to be done from left to right. So in this equation, we have some multiplication here, some division right here. So what do you say we do them kind of in the same step mm -hmm. from left to right? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 12 times 4, what's that? Um, I've got it. I'm almost there. Uh, I think it, 12 times 4 is 48. You've got it, 48. Yes. Now take that 48 and divide it by 2 because we're doing this in one step. Okay, 48 divided by 2. That's like taking two, have the amount of hours in two days and dividing it by two days and getting one day amount of hours, That's aka right. 24. You got it, 24. <laughs> All right. Now, Haley, oops, I need to put this in the other color so I don't confuse anybody. I'm, yep, I would be so confused if we didn't have these different colors. All right, so we have 24 subtract 8 plus 4. So it looks like we have subtraction and addition. And addition, subtraction, they're done together from left to right. So, Haley, let's do this together. 24 subtract 8. Hmm, I think that one is 16. You've got it. 16 plus 4. That is 20. You've got it. So, our answer to our crazy, crazy long equation there is 20. And that is absolutely Right. Give that a huge yeah. checkboard. Yes. And, you know, that was, it seemed confusing at first, but when you break it down into all of these different steps and use that specific <coughs> order of operations, it makes it a lot simpler because you're really just solving one little thing at a time. Do you guys agree with me? Definitely. I mean, this is going to make all of the math that I do um, every, every night. I do an hour of math practice. Um, this is going to make things a lot easier because normally I've just been kind of willy nillying uh, the willy nilly method of math, which just means uh, you guess until you get close to the answer, and it hasn't been very successful. So this will help a lot, I think. All right, so Cole, you're seeming pretty confident here. So I have a little test for you here. So I'm going to show you one of these little flashcards, and I want you to not solve it. I'm not going to make you do that here in the summer, but what I'm going to make you do is I'm going to make you tell me exactly what I would solve first in this. So okay. think about that acronym, okay. MedMass or PEMDAS, yep. whichever yep. you like. And then tell me what I'm going to do first. Okay. Haley, you're going to be doing the same thing pretty quick here. So make sure you're, you know, you got a uh, big shoes to fill, you might. So you, you got to pay attention. So big you have sandals a leg up on him. Big sandals. We're actually wearing the same sandals That's today, right. Cole. We I saw it do. when you came in. We always wear the same sandals when we film together so that we can sync up our brains. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. The first one. We have 16 <laughs> divided by 4 times so what, what, about, what about I do first? Yes, what uh, do you do first? I would do 16 divided by 4. That is so right. All right, here we go. We have 1 plus 1 squared plus 3. Um, you would do the 1 squared. That is so right, Cole. You're a master. 6 subtract in brackets, 4 times 2 bracket plus 3. Oh, do you do the brackets first? You're very right, Cole. You do. Starts with a B. Now we have 6 plus 3 plus 1. What do you do first? I think you can just go left to right on that guy. You, you got it, Cole. You nice. are a master. All right, 2 plus 1 in brackets times 3. Okay, this one's harder just because I, I see brackets, but I also see multiplication. <laughs> um, okay, uh, think, think. Bed, mass, b, 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 brackets first. You've got it, yes. Cole. You start with those brackets, and then you would continue on to that multiplication. All right, we have 2 plus 3 divided by 1. Uh, do 3 divided by 1. You got it. And now we have... 6 subtract in brackets, 3 plus 2 bracket. Th 3 plus 2. 
you got it because it's in that bracket. And here we go. We're ending off with this one. 3 plus 4, subtract 2. What you is would, the answer? You would go 3 plus 4, and then you subtract that 2 right after. You got it. All right. Now, Haley, I bet you thought you could just memorize the answer. He said it in, hey? Well, you were going to memorize the order and everything? Yeah, well, I have I it written down on my hand. <gasps> Ooh, well, Haley, none of that today. <laughs> Nuh uh uh uh. We're mixing it up here. Oh, no, so I should have written down the answers, not the order that they were uh, set in. You got it. <sighs> order is not the answer for everything, Haley. Just bed mass. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, hopefully you know. Here we go. We have six <coughs> subtract in brackets, three plus two. I would do the brackets first. You got it. We have three plus four subtract two. Well, that one, we could just do left to right. You got it. All right, we got 16 divided by 4 times 4. <gasps> Another one that we can just do left to right. You got it, Haley. 1 plus 1 squared plus 3. <gasps> That's that funny word that starts with an E. Oh, exponent. Yes, you're so right. <laughs> Excellento. All right, we got 6 subtract 4 times 2 in brackets plus 3. <gasps> That would be the brackets first. Of course, Haley. I never doubted for a second. All right, 6 plus 3 plus 1. Ooh, I think that one you could just do left to right. You got it. All right, we're nearing the end here. We have in brackets 2 plus 1 bracket times 3. Oh, my goodness. Be careful, Haley. This mm. is the one that I really have to think about. It's true. You might yes. really have to put your thinking cap on. Get those numbers flying around here. Yes, because I know that the... <laughs> That the multiplication needs to happen first before addition and subtraction. But there's also a bracket. Bracket first. Mm -hmm. You got it. And here we go. We got 2 plus 3 divided by 1. That's an easy one. Division first. You got it. You know what? I've got great news. Both of you got every single one correct. And I think that means that we got it. We got it right. Sweet. <gasps> we know everything. <laughs> I feel really, really prepared, Mackenzie. I think I want to tackle the first box. You I want to try it. Are you sure, Cole? Okay. Yeah, I think I'm ready. I think All I'm right. ready. You only got one chance because we never know. We it's only okay. got one life. So right. give okay. it to me. That's okay. Okay. Let's Sounds see. Sounds good. Here so, we go. Uh, can you? Okay. So we've got three times four plus two. You got it. Yep. Now uh, I didn't uh, tell you uh, about this, but I actually um, brought a little friend with me to help me with this math problem. And that friend's name is Calculator. That's right. I have a calculator on my computer that I'm going to use to get this uh, answer. So right. easy. This is easy. What this is what we're going to do. 3 times 4 plus 2. 3 times 4. And then I'm going to go uh, uh, plus 2. Easy. 14. That's the answer. <gasps> cool. Should I put Number it in? Number 1. Yeah, try it. Try it. Okay. I'm going to put it in. Whoa. What, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what, can you try putting it in again just to make sure? I want to make sure that that's, that, I w that sound. Because I was, I was <laughs> sort of a lot. I know. It just I, One more time. I just don't know if it was a good sound or a bad sound. <laughs> okay. I think we've confirmed that that's a negative. Ne that's a negatory on that. That is right. <laughs> okay. I was I was taken aback. I was shocked <laughs> by the sound that I heard. Well, okay. I think I know where I, I went wrong, Mackenzie. And I didn't use those bed mass rules that you were telling us about. Yeah, Cole, you forgot <laughs> something. I you pay attention to the details, Cole. I'm yes. gonna put it towards you. Okay, now that I look at it, I see that, that four plus two is in brackets, which means I have to do that first. That's right. So you either have to do it first or add those brackets, add the brackets in yes. on your calculator. I'm I not see. sure if your calculator has that function. Well, I, but I'm looking at my calculator now and I see that it actually has bracket buttons. Oh my god. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna type <laughs> okay. the whole thing up. Three times bracket four plus two bracket. Okay. Now that looks exactly the same as the box. It does. If I hit equals <gasps> 18. 18. That's, that's different, different than 14. That's way different. Okay, are you I ready? I'm very curious to know what sound it's going to make when we get one <laughs> Me right. Me too. Okay. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Ba ding! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that, that sounds way just better wait, than the last one. Oh my gosh, it popped off. Oh. Well, There's what's in there? It's popping off. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a potato. Oh. A, po a potato? What, what could that mean? That's weird. I mean, that some doesn't seem like much of a prize. I mean, we are on the couch potato lab, after all. Hmm. This must be some type of hint. 
Yeah. I'm really not sure like what type of hint, but hmm. it's a definitely a hint. Maybe I'll there's other hints in the other boxes. Yes, Kate. We need to. That's what we need to do. We need to work really hard so that we can unlock the rest of these boxes by the end of the show, so that we can figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna leave our potato friend just right there, cause maybe maybe that potato friend can help us. Could be. Could okay. Be. So if you have any suggestions, maybe you know the answer to some of these boxes. If you could text those in, text us your questions at 306-570-1013. That would be absolutely amazing. And you can also reach out to us on social media at Eyes Youth on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all that great stuff. And use that hashtag Couch Potato Lab. All right. So the next thing we need to do is, I don't know. Cole, you were struggling with brackets. I really was. I yeah, really so was, yeah. Yeah, so I think what we need to do before we move on is we need to go back to our whiteboard and do the other side because I'm not sure if we have it yet. Oh, okay, so okay, sure. this is yeah. what's happening on the other side here. So we have <gasps> some equations. Oh, interesting. And here's the problem is some of them are right, some of them are wrong. So we need to use those little tricks. Remember how I said brackets are like our like our cheats? Mm -hmm. We need to insert some of these brackets to make sure that these equations are correct. Okay, okay. So some of them won't need brackets added. But brackets kind of just they're there like invisibly if if they kind of help it look clean and organized. That is right. Yeah. So you really know exactly what you're doing first. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do the first equation. Five plus four times two. So in this, what would we do first? Hmm, well, according to the order of operations, I believe we would do the 4 times 2. 4 times 2, that is very right. So we would have 4 times 2 is 8, eight plus 5 is 13. That's right. Okay, so that one is perfect. So if we wanted, we could, of course, add our brackets here. It's not going to change anything, mm -hmm. but we already knew to do that first, so they're not doing much there to help us. But for example, Mackenzie, if we put the brackets around the 5 plus 4 times 2, that wouldn't equal 13. Right, so that would be mm -hmm. not a good one. That okay. would make it wrong. We don't right. want to. We don't want that. Yeah. Okay. So this one is five plus four times three. So according to order of operations, what are we doing first? We are definitely doing the multiplication first. Four times three. Mm -hmm. So we have four times three equals twelve. Plus five is seventeen. Right. So this one is already right. So again, yeah. if we wanted, we could put those brackets here, but they're not necessarily necessary. Well, nice. Mackenzie, I got it. So we're just going to add the brackets on the next multiplication. Oh. Four times three. Okay, Haley, let's try that. Four times three is 12, plus five is 17. That would make it the oh. exact same as this, but the answer is 27. Cool. Is there somewhere we could add the brackets to make this equation right so that we don't have to do the multiplication first? Well, here's what I'm thinking. If we add the brackets to the four times three, we get the same answer as the equation before, but we know that it has to be 27. So maybe if we tried adding the brackets to the 5 plus 4, we would get a different result. So if I put brackets right here, then we use our order of operations. Mm -hmm. So if order of operations says brackets. So brackets first, so we would have to do the brackets. 5 plus 4 is 9. And then 9 times 3 is? 27. 27. That's how we do so it. Then it's right. All right. Okay, here we go. According to our order of operations, what do we do first? Hmm, definitely the exponent. The exponent. So we can simplify that exponent so we know exactly what that equals. Yeah. So 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, okay? So we know that this is 9. So we need to somehow add brackets so that we can get to 81. So 9 times what would give us 81? Um, well, 81 is one of those things. I remember learning about it, a perfect square, I think. That's so right. What that means is if we take the square root of 81, we get 9, I think, right? Yeah. And then that means that 9 times 9 has to equal 81. That's right. So, Haley, can we add brackets around something in this equation? We sure can. We can add brackets around the 5 plus the 4 to get 9. That's right. So 5 plus 4, we're going to have to do that first because it's in brackets 9. Then we do the exponents to get this 9. 9 times 9 is 81. That is absolutely correct, Amondo. Yes. Man, we are getting so good at math. That is I can't right. This. Now, Haley, how are you feeling? Are you feeling very confident? Well, sometimes I get a little confused and I forget. Um, but there's two different words: bed mass, ped mass, sass mass. I really don't know what all these words are. Well, Haley, I think that I really think you have it what it takes. So I think that we'll we'll task you to solve this. Mm -hmm. Second box here, but I see we have something in front that you like using this to help remember, right? 
Exactly. Well, I love playing hopscotch. And if you like playing hopscotch at home, you can play along. I actually made a hopscotch on the floor of bed mass. Oh, that's All pretty cool. Right. And it helps me in order to solve these equations. So while I'm looking at it, I can go through the specific order and see what needs to be done first. So Haley, do you start at the end that has the A and the S, or do you start at the B? I always start at the B because I want to be on one foot. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. So start at that B, and let's maybe follow along with these equations. We can solve it by the yeah. end. Exactly. So our very first letter here is B, which stands for brackets. So let's see if there are any brackets in this equation. All right, what do we see? Hmm. Is there any? I see that there is, and it is 2 plus 2, which means we need to solve it first. All right. So what's that answer then, Haley? That 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and simplify this on nice. here so we ex know exactly this what, is we're, very clever what we're working this. with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's next? We so no more brackets. Yes, yeah, so no more brackets. Let's move on. Any exponents in this one? Uh, hmm. You tell me. I don't think there's any exponents on this one. So I think we're good to skip this one. Let's head on over to the M and the D. And like Mackenzie said, these are interchangeable and can be done just left to right. So let's see if there's any multipli multiplication or division. So let's have a look. All right. <gasps> I actually see division and multiplication. OK. Whoa. So what do we do first? <coughs> so let's just go left to right. So let's do 8 divided by 2. What's that? That is 4. 4. So these are side by side, and technically this is still in brackets. So what do we do then? Hmm. Well, now it is time for the multiplication, because 4 times 4 is going to be our answer. And that would be? That would be 16. I cannot do a 6 upside down. That's OK. I and we didn't even today. have to get to the A or the S on my little hopscotch, because <coughs> there was no adding or subtracting. Okay, are we locking in 16? Are we ready to put this in? I feel confident. I like 16. Okay, yes, good I, okay ready? I just want to hear this noise yes, I know. again. I wonder ready? if it'll be the ready? same noise. Wuching! Wuching? No, <laughs> that's a different noise. That is, <laughs> oh my god, it popped open again. <gasps> what, did, what did we get this time? What there? did we get? What? <gasps> what? A trophy? Does that mean that we won? Did, like, are, did we, are we finished? I don't. What could that mean? What could this mean? We have a potato. Uh -huh. We have a trophy. Uh. Well, <sighs> my mom makes pretty good mashed potatoes, so maybe it's her trophy from winning the province-wide mashed potato that competition. That could be it. That, that could, could be, be it. it. That could be it, definitely. But but there is this one more box. Yeah. Hmm. One maybe. Box. Maybe we should. Yeah. We need to. We need to do this. But okay, this is a huge box. If we get this one wrong and we don't figure out the riddle. Who knows what kind of noise that thing's going to have. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Kay, could we, be bad. We need to, like, practice up. We need to play yeah. a little game or something, yeah. okay? Yeah, I agree. All right. So you have those dice there, okay? So get out your dice. And um, we also have a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to get into our main activity for the day. So uh, viewers at home, you can follow along, too. You can practice with us. And then hopefully you can text us in your answers. And we can together figure out this last box so we can put all of these weird details together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... What we're going to do, I'm going to do a little practice round, and then, of course, we're going to get into, I'm not telling them, our science showdown. Yeah, we're what? Gonna do our science showdown. They can't hear me. I can't science hear Science showdown, everyone. So we have to practice, so then they're going to do good. Okay. Okay. okay hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, I sure. Am. Here's Let's what practice. we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start with two dice. Two dice. Two dice. All right. Now take those two dice and roll them on your table. All right, Cool. What numbers do you have? I got a three and a four. All right, so cool. Now you have a decision to make. You can pick to put the 3 and the 4 together to make 34, or you can flip them to make 43. Which one do you want to lock in? Um, I'm going to choose 34. Okay, 34. so 34. Cool, that is your golden number, 34. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Haley, what two numbers did you get? I got a 6 and a 2. All right, so you can pick from 62 or 26. Which number are you mm -hmm. picking as your golden number today? I think I'll pick 26. All right. So we have a 34 and a 26. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take all five of those dice. And we are going to roll them up. And there you go. Now what oh I no. want you to I do. I lost one. 
<laughs> it's pick up that dice, cool. It's a jumping Oops. dice. And I want you to list all of the numbers you have. So, Cole, it looks like you have a four, a four, a six, a three, and a two. Yeah, so should I write those out on my board here? Yeah, just four. So we know exactly what four. you're working with. Haley, you can do the same thing with the numbers you got four, over there. Four. Perfect, thank you. Two, three, six. Perfect, okay. I'm all done. What's the next step? Okay, so here's what where the real math comes in. So what we're going to do is you're going to be using those five numbers and you're going to be able to pick which operations in between them. You can add brackets, you can add, add addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, anything like that to get to your target number. So you want to get as close to that target number as you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 30 seconds. We're going to watch the crazy math going on, on in your heads and you're going to try to get to that target number. Okay. Do you have any questions before we start this practice round? Nope, no. I am ready to go. Ready to rock. Yeah, All ready right. to rock. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Okay, so what do I mm. want to start with here? I'm going to start by going. Let's um, go here. Six times four. Plus Let's start with four. a multiplication. Yeah, okay. Hmm. And then, this is hard, Mackenzie. I, it is, but I know you can do it. So just get as close as you can. Hmm, don't forget those brackets because they tell us what we need to do first. All hmm. right. Are you getting close? Mackenzie? Yeah. I got it. You got you you got to your golden number? I got it. I Kay. got to my golden number. Okay, you share what you did um with your to get to your golden number. Okay. Okay. So, my golden number was 34. That was my target number. And I had to choose from 4, 4, 2, 3, and 6. Okay. So I started off with 6 times 4 equals 24. Okay. All right. Uh, so that eliminated a 6 and a 4. And after that, I had 24. And what I did after that is I added in brackets, I used my brackets, okay. 3 times 2. Oh. So 24 plus 3 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6. So that means I get 30. Okay. And then after that, I w the only thing I had left was a 4, and 30 plus 4 is 34. Oh my gosh, you, you did, did it. I did it. You got right to your target number. That right is on. absolutely amazing, cool. Haley, how close were you able to get? Well, I was two numbers away. That but is still remarkable. Yes, let me walk you through my process because my writing's a little messy here. So I started off with two different brackets. So I started off with the 6 times 2 plus 5 times 2 plus 1 plus 1. I had all these 1s at the end. And then uh, I simplified it. 6 times 2 is 12, and 5 times 2 is 10, and those are being added together with the 1 plus 1. And then I added 12 plus 10, which is 22, and I had these two leftover ones that made it to 24. All right, so Haley got really, really close. Now, Haley, I forgot to tell you one more rule. You <gasps> can only use each number one time. So I see you use that number 2 twice. So we're going to have to, in our actual science showdown, we're oh. going to use each number once, or you're going to get disqualified. Dirty tricks from Haley. She always does this. She always tries to cheat her way out of a science showdown. Uh, well, good thing that was the practice round. No penalty for Haley. And you know what? I'm so proud because she got so close. So honestly, Cole, you better watch out because she okay. is going to be right. some tough competition. Right. So after that practice round, I think this brings us to our science showdown for the day. Okay, so here we go. You know what to do. We're going to start with two dice, and two we're going to roll them in three, two, one, go. Woo! What'd you Ooh, get? Ooh, a four and a one. All right, so you got 14 or 41. Ooh. And Haley. I have a two and a three, so I'm going with 23. All right. I'm going to go with 41. Okay, now pick up your five dice and roll those out. Perfect. I always do this. I think it's your way of getting a little bit more time. I think it's think. because I'm so strong, swole coal. You're swole coal. I'm throwing I, these dice. That's exactly what it oh, is. Oh, it was a two. It was a two, I swear. Okay. okay. So then write down your five numbers, <gasps> just like oh last no. time. Oh, my goodness. I ended up getting two sixes this time. Wow. numbers. Yikes. So you might want to incorporate some subtraction or division. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. You have 30 seconds starting now. Okay. Um... 
Wow, I can just, I can feel the, the heat coming off of them because they're thinking so much. Oh, wow, yeah. It is getting steamy in here, folks. It is hot outside. It is hot in here because there's a lot of thinking going on. There's these thinking machines. Their brains are working hard. Oh, this is hard. Cole, is your brain sweating? Oh, it's sweating so much right now. I have no idea what, I'm, what I should do. Uh, I'm panicking. All right, all right. Can I give you a hint, Cole? Okay, actually, I, I think I have an idea. Okay, remember exponents get you really high numbers. Oh, I forgot about exponents. Exponents get I you really, you really do high numbers. That's right. That's right. Wow, Haley is doing real good over here. I can just tell. Wowza. Okay. Do you have to use all your numbers? You got to use all your numbers oh, at least once. You do. Okay. That changes wow. everything. We're thinking real hard. Actually, no, that's okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh, I think I'm done. All right. Cool, you done? Yes, I think so. All right. Haley, you share your results first this time. All right. So my results, uh, I had the number 23. So I did 6 times 3 in brackets, and then I added that with some more brackets, 6 times 1, subtract by 3. So if I did my brackets, I got 18 and 6, and then I still had that minus 3, and then I added 18 plus 6 is 24. And subtract 3 equals 21, and that's as close as I could get to 23. Wow, Haley, that is such a great job you did. Amazing. Now, Cole, can you share your results here? Yes, I can. So my target number was 41. 41. So, and I had to choose from two, two, three twos, a five, and a six. Wow. I started off with six to the power of two is 36. You got and then it. I added five, which gives me 41 right away, but you said I had to use all my numbers. Yes, it's true. Luckily for me, I had two more twos left over. So what I did was I went 41 plus two equals 43, then 43 minus two equals 41. That's right. Cool. Bam. Can I see your board for a second? Oh, no. I need to see it. This is going to be embarrassing for okay. me, I think. Um, so Cole here used his six, so that's one number. Then we have our five. That's one, two, two, two. But Cole had three twos. But I used it as the exponent on the six. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Today, we're feeling generous. Come on, let me see those numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Math overload. <laughs> we're giving it to him. We're giving it to him. Cole is our science showdown winner. You're taking the win. All right. Oh, wow, Cole. Those are some crazy I know that we've been talking all about numbers today, but I actually got a letter for you. W. Because I won. <laughs> it is true. Cool, we're so proud of you. Thank Before you. we get going, we have a segment coming up. It is our favorite segment, of course. So text us in those questions that you have at 306-570-1013. And of course, you can reach out to us on social media at Eyes Youth on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok. And of course, if you're using Twitter, use that hashtag Couch Potato Lab. All right, so we're going to, we can't move on yet. I really want to get to Ask a Scientist, but we have this box. Oh, we yes. We need to do it. And oh, you just, oh, no. <laughs> potato <laughs> fan. Oh, no, and he lost an eye. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Potatoes have so many eyes, don't even That's worry true. about and it. And they're very resilient, so it's all good to go. So we have our trophy. We have our potato. We need to figure out what's in this box so we can figure it out. Now, this is a complicated equation, but we've been working so much with bed mass, I know we can do it. So okay. together, let's figure this okay. out. So starting with... Bed mass, the B, brackets. Do we have any brackets, Cool. Um, I do see brackets right at the front there, that 5 times 6. Okay, so what's 5 times 6, Cool? That is going to be 30. You got her. Haley, what's next? Hmm, next is exponents. So that is 1 squared, which is actually just 1. That is oh. so right, Haley. Now we have division and multiplication. So what do we do? Hmm, we go left to right. All right, so, so far we have 30 times 1, which is? Just 30. And divide that by 3 is? 10. All right, so I'm just going to cross all this out because we've done all that already. So wow, 10. we're speeding through this. Okay, so 10 subtract 8 is? Um, that's going to be, 10 subtract 8 is going to be 2. That's right. Now, Haley, add 2 plus 4. <gasps> that is 6. 6. So we're going to say with so much confidence that this equals 6. Okay, fingers crossed. Kay. Fingers crossed here, folks. All right. Here we go. Da -da 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 wow! <laughs> that just my my I lifted off the ground when I heard that. Kate, you got. 
What's in there? Mackenzie! Mackenzie, you have to tell us. Are you ready? Yeah. It's the golden ticket. It says, admit everybody to the ICPL <gasps> award show. What? what? What is that? Okay, so I knew this was coming up because, you know what, I actually do have a question that we're going to answer as I address this golden ticket. And the Hayes brothers asked, is it true that tomorrow will be the last show? And then they said, like we were talking about routine and order, they say that watching the Couch Potato Lab has been their weekday routine since April. Wow. And you know what, it's breaking our heart because tomorrow is our last um, episode of season one of the Couch Potato Lab, but that's right. It's just season one. We're gonna come back and we're gonna end it with a absolute bang. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have our Couch Potato <gasps> Awards oh. right here at the studio, and you're all invited because we have this golden ticket. Yes, we can go. Uh, yes, I thought that it was just gonna be yes. like kind of really exclusive. Only a few of us were gonna be there, but now that we have this golden ticket, everybody is invited, nice. and we're all going to get to be there together and we're going to be celebrating all of the amazing 57 episodes that we've had we're going to be looking at some really funny moments some just absolute fails and bloopers it's going to be such a good time and we hope that everybody mm -hmm. will join us because it's going to be so fun so that one ticket gets everyone at home at the studio yeah. Well, they're going to watch <laughs> it online, Haley, of oh, course, yes, because okay. we still have to be careful how many people we have in studio, but yes. it was going to be an exclusive, like you needed a password, but now that we have this, we're opening it up to everybody. It's a, it's a show for absolutely everybody. All right. So with that, I think that we should get to our, our favorite segment mm -hmm. because we want to make sure we address every single question before the end of our show. So here we go. We're going to head into Ask a Scientist. All right, so we have our very first question, and this question is coming from the absolutely amazing Hayes Brothers, and that is, who created the rule of bed mass? Oh. Cole, Haley? I, I, can, I can take this one, yes, bed mass, very interesting. So um, bed mass actually started out, uh, the acronym, as we know, has changed over time a little bit. It actually started out differently. It used to be bod mass, bod mass with an O. And this was originally invented by a fellow named Achilles Rizafelt. And when he um, came up with the bod mass, that O initially st stood for the word orders, which is just another w way of saying power. So it basically meant the same thing as exponents that we know today, um, but they just used a little bit of a different letter. Then it eventually, down the line, got changed into bed mass, which is something that we commonly use in Canada, whereas in other countries, for instance, the United States, it's more common to see PEMDAS. So it kind of depends uh, w like where you live as to exactly how you're taught when you're growing up, but bed mass has been a around for a very long time. All right, that is absolutely fascinating. Now we're going to move on to our second question. Now, Haley, a viewer wants to know what jobs use math? What jobs use math? Well, actually, there's a lot of jobs that use math. There are actuarial scientists, there's biologists, there's accountants and architects, and basically any scientist out there uses math. Now, I said actuarial scientist, and I know that that was actually a possible career path for Mackenzie. So what is an actuarial scientist? That's right, Haley. I studied actuarial science for a little bit, and it's really it's a lot of stats and probability and insurance and all that. It's a lot of numbers. It's really crazy. I loved it, but then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to go into math, so I'm now doing a math degree instead of an actuarial science degree. Both amazing career paths in the field of math. All right. Now we have another question. This is okay. kind of like a preference question. Mm. And I want to know the answer from both of you. And we're wondering, do you prefer bod mass, bed mass, or PEMDAS. <laughs> so <laughs> which one rolls through your mind? What a question. Um, you know what? Um, because of, of my nickname that I gained on, I think it was my very first episode of the Couch Potato Lab, I gained the nickname Swole Cole. Um, ever since then, I've been focusing on getting gains. <laughs> on that bod. <laughs> on that bod. And I've been focusing on my bod mass, my body mass. Um, and I've been trying to increase my muscle percentage, which you can c clearly tell is working. Um, so I'm pr partial to bod mass just because um, my favorite place to do math is actually um, uh, in the gym. 
All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. I actually have a much different reasoning behind mine. So while your favorite place to do math is in the gym to work <laughs> on your body, <laughs> mine is in bed. Oh. So I prefer bed math. I only do math in my bed. Right. Mm. And so Mackenzie, uh, what's your favorite? You know what? I'm a born and raised bed mass. You were born and raised bed mass. You're right. I am. Yep. You got it. How did you elementary? We we did the bed mass there. We oh. did absolutely the bed mass. Yes, of course. All right. So, you know, I think since this is our last show, mm -hmm. I would really like if, if you two, the scientists, could share your most embarrassing moment on the show. Oh, <laughs> there's been so many. Um, <laughs> uh, my most, my personal most embarrassing moment? Um, well, I mean, where do we begin? I was, uh, my very first appearance, I was dressed up like a pirate. Um, R, R. R, R, that's right. Uh, then I, I um, humiliated myself doing very, very meager strength activities um, out front here in the next episode that I was on. Um, uh, but I think my most embarrassing moment would probably be um, losing um, all control of my mind and body when I saw dinosaurs come across the screen um, an episode, uh, uh, an earlier in an earlier episode. So I think that would be my personal most wow. embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope those dinosaurs <laughs> never reappear because they were absolutely Ever. insane. Yes, too much. Too much, really. Okay, Haley, what was your most embarrassing moment? Hmm, like Cole, I also have many embarrassing moments, and lots of mine have to do with laughing a lot. I'm a big laugher. I love to laugh at myself and other things. So I would have to say on monday's episode with cole it was what were we even doing cole oh um we were doing a potato problem where oh. uh, we had to create a species that would was able to live inside of a volcano that is right yeah. and i also like you lost control of my mind my body and could not host yeah. the show because i was laughing so hard so that is my most embarrassing moment for sure all right so we have one more question from a viewer and rhythm is wondering who discovered math Oh, very interesting question, Rhythm. Now, that's kind of a tough question because math has been around for such a long time that we have to look back very, 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 very far into the past um, to sort of figure that question out. And there isn't exactly one answer because there was a lot of different cultures and societies that were using math um, that m we might not necessarily know about uh, for wh whoever knows how long. But one person uh, in particular that is kind of looked to as um, one of the original mathematicians is this fellow named Archimedes, who was a Greek ma uh, mathematician long, long time ago. And he, he came up with a lot of the um, concepts of math that we still use today. Yes, that is right. Cool. All right. <coughs> Last final question here. Tomorrow we have this gigantic, amazing, it's going to be so exciting award show. And Haley and Cole, I know you haven't seen the nominations list yet. Mm -hmm. I know you haven't seen the awards list yet. You don't even know what's about to be announced. But I'm curious. I want to know if you think you would win any award. What award is it going to be? I want to know, <laughs> Cole. What award do you think you're going to win? Oh, okay. Um, well, I hope to win... Um, best transformation so uh just you know from being in the gym from day one of cpl to now you could definitely see um a, an increase in in swollness so i'm hoping i don't know even know if that's a category but i'm hoping to win um best transformation uh best like a body routine. transformation yeah. before and after will you be providing the before yes and after we will pictures? do a <laughs> i actually would love to see a screenshot of me on the very first episode a screenshot of me now and for you to see the vast difference and obviously them. you will become buffness. tanned you will yes. come absolutely waxed of all the hair on your body yes 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 <laughs> wow that's, that's really plan. really something cool that's the plan. you know i'm gonna i'm gonna really do a shout out for you thank you yeah I'm, I'm thank you gonna gonna fight for that put my nominations in Haley, what do you think you're gonna win hmm, now i know this is quite a, a steep and a very full category because there were so many on this but I know there's a lot of competition for coding episodes. There were many of us that did them. So I hope that I could possibly win a coding nomination or a coding oh award. Mm, very, interesting. very interesting. interesting. All right. Well, there is only one way for you viewers to figure out what awards we're all going to be winning, what's up <coughs> for nominations, you know, all those great moments. So I really hope that you'll join us tomorrow. It's going to be so much fun live at 1 p.m. as always at Eyes Youth. So please join us there. Thank you, of course, to you at home. Without you, we would not be able to create these amazing episodes each and every day. And, of course, a huge thank you to our supporters. I think that's it for today. So we'll see you all dressed up and fancy tomorrow at the first annual Eyes Awards show. See you then. See Bye. ya.